Welcome to this top-down knockback tutorial for Unity 2D games. Let's get started. First, we need a we need to have a player and an enemy. So I'm gonna right-click here, create sprite square. Okay, player. Drag it over here, and. Uh, we need to make the player move, so we make a new script. Okay, so open it up. And uh, first we need a movement speed, so public float move speed. And uh, then we need to access the rigid body. So private rigid body 2D RB. And in here we say RB equals to get component rigid body 2D. Like that. And um, in the update we have first we can make up. Oh, almost forgot. We need a vector two, so private vector two. We call this move input to store the input. So move input x equals input dot get axis row or horizontal. Okay, we need another one for the vertical. Move input y. So it's almost the same, just vertical, sorry. And then we want him to have the same speed if he walks diagonally. So we can just say input dot normalized. And then we need to move it with the rigid body so we we'll say rb dot velocity equals move input times move speed this is just simple movement uh, not for this tutorial but we need the play to move so this is what we have so far okay we can set the move speed here or out here if you want go back to you can change this okay so let's get into the knockback thing so we want to so in my so the easiest way I know is uh, to make a coroutine so we need a enumerator I enumerator we call this knockback then we need a float for the duration of the knockback so knockback knockback duration then we need a float for the knockback power oops knockback power Okay, and uh, transform. Yep. We need all. We also need a timer. So float timer equals zero. Then we want to make a while loop. So while knockback duration is more than timer, we want to say timer plus equals time dot delta time then we need a vector 2 vector 2 call this direction and this will be equals to object transform dot position 
minus this transform dot position and we normalized it okay so we need to add some force when this happens so we can say rb our rigid body add force add force what direction so instead of typing direction we say minus to get not back from wherever we come from and with the knock we times it by a knockback power yes and we need to return here just like this okay we need a this is good for now but we need an enemy so go back to unity uh, just right click duplicate player change color and um, we can remove the script call this enemy both of them need a box collider so select both up here and uh, add component box collider and we can make, give them a rigid body as well freeze this set rotation and uh, change gravity scale to zero okay and uh, select your player up here you have tag we can set this to player go to your enemy add component type enemy or whatever you want your script to be called we add a script open it up okay so in here we can take both of this away and we need a knockback power public float knockback power we can set this to 100 and uh, we need a public float knock back duration and set this to one for now you can later change both of, both of this to match your game so we need a collision check so we we'll say private void on collision enter 2d i'd like to change this one to other then if other dot game object dot tag equals player what do we want to do we want to start the coroutine so start coroutine and we need to access the knockback function here and the easiest way i know is to access everything in the player script is to make public static player instance and then you have you can say void awake and you say instance equals this so now i will show you how you can access your player very easy and this is by saying player dot instance and then what do you want the knockback function yes and um, we want the duration so up here we have the duration we can paste this and then we want the knockback power and then I think it's and then the transform you can see here transform and we say this dot transform okay so that's good 
see I think this is it uh, let's try this out we can move the player Whoop. hit play Oops. this is we don't need a rigid body here for now see if I come from here I will get knocked back over here if I come from here get knocked back from here knocked back from here knocked back so this is the easiest way I know how to make a knockback in 2D. Thank you for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe. Bye!